All right, now we turn to a story of true hard work and determination. For decades, one man has been the voice over the PA announcement for the sports at Rockridge School District. Glenn Cook was a member of the very first graduating class at Rockridge back in 1958. We at News 8 have done many stories on him over the years, from his time coaching at Rockridge to stepping up to paint the football field. And last week, he celebrated 50 years of lending his voice to Rockets Athletics. So today, we are super honored to have Glenn join us here on The Current. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Shelby. It's great to be here, and it's great to be asked to be here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, for people that haven't been out to a Rockets game and haven't heard your voice, what sports do you announce for? Uh, football, uh, boys and girls basketball, baseball, uh, some softball, and uh, several years ago I did some track. And I've done a little wrestling too, but mostly football, basketball, and baseball. A little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How did you get involved with this? How did you start announcing? Well, I don't remember how I got started uh, initially, but in, a night, in the fall of 1974, we, our head basketball coach was Frank Dexter, who coached at Moline for a long time. And he asked me uh, if I would announce, and so I agreed to do it, and, and I've been doing it ever since. So, Is there a secret to announcing? Is there a little trick that you've got? If there is, I don't know it because <laughs> I make more mistakes than, as anybody at Rockridge can attest to, I make more mistakes than than you can shake a stick at. I've, no. You know, I've made many over the years, but I... I I, but I told you this before, off the air, Shelby, I get more out of it, a lot more out of it, believe me, than anybody out there, than any of the kids. I, I absolutely love kids. I used to get myself in trouble by saying I love young boys. <laughs> but, but I do. I, I, boys, I just, I, I coached baseball there for quite a few years, and, and I love being around kids and, and, and boys and girls. and. Uh, Boys will push you, you know. Uh, you know they're they're not as mature as girls. And they're not at, at that age, and and so you know they're they're harder to keep in line. But I loved every second of it. You've certainly donated a lot, a lot of your time over the years to Rockridge, but I've seen some photos. Do you bring your family into the booth sometimes? Oh yeah, yeah. I've had grandkids up there and kids up there. My daughter, my daughter was a cheerleader, homecoming queen out wow. there. My son played all sports out there. Uh, uh, yeah, my grandkids. Yeah, they come up in the booth and I've had them sit on my lap while I announce mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's got to be special for you. Yeah, I. Yeah, I've really loved it and. You know, uh, 50 years, it's gone by in a heartbeat. I just can't believe it's been 50 years. But uh, our athletic director, Daphne Graves, does a great job. And, and our principal, Katie Hassan, uh, we're in, the school is in great hands, the best hands they've ever been in. It's in mm. great shape. My wife, Ann, is so supportive of me. And so, you know, that's really important because I'm gone a lot. You yeah. know, you go out there and, and announce and so, but I've loved every second of it, Shelby. And, wow. and to be recognized is really a little bit embarrassing because I, this sounds corny and everything else, but I get a lot more out of it than they do. A lot more. Well, and can I ask you in our, in our few seconds left, what's kept you coming back for 50 years? I, I love sports, but I, and I, but I love watching kids participate and compete. I love to watch kids compete and uh, You'd be surprised, uh, you know, all kids don't compete. The, the, the competition, I love a kid that really competes for a job. I'll guarantee you that you competed for your job here. Hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, you don't get to where you're at without competing. And, and sports uh, lends to that. It, it, it teaches you how to compete and do your best. And the older I get, the more I know the scoreboard really doesn't matter. Hmm. It's trying to, to to win. If you've done everything you can, and that means practice and everything else, if you've done everything you can to win, you win. Period. That's all there is to it. So. Well, Glenn, I can't thank you enough no, thank for your you time for, today. And thank for your you wisdom. for asking me. Thank you so and much. And hopefully this, we'll see you out awesome. there this yeah. fall. Maybe. I, I, right, as we sit here right now, <laughs> I want to. We'll see. So I hope. I hope the new athletic director wants me to. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll put in a good word for you. Okay, that's awesome. Glenn, thank, thank you, you Shelby. So much. Thank